Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and this morning EW posted another trailer for the next upcoming DLC and it has confirmed that we are going to be getting a new dog here in the game, the Labrador Retriever. So I am so excited about this. Last week I said I was hoping it would be a Retriever. I thought it could have been a Pointer as well, but I really wanted a Retriever just because I think it's going to make small game hunting and waterfowl hunting and stuff like that just really fun. And that is what we're going to be getting. So really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and show you the new trailer that they dropped, and then we're going to read through the article that they posted. So just like last week, the trailer starts off with the rabbit in the middle of the field, the character whistles, and then you hear a dog bark. But this time we actually get to see the retriever itself, and it brings up the rabbit. I really like the way that that animation looks, it dropping it and everything. Really excited to get my hands on it and actually see it in the game. And the, the, the retriever itself looks good as well. Just really impressed overall with what I've seen so far. But there you can see on the right side of the screen, Labrador Retriever makes its way to PC and console on November 28th. That is just two weeks away from November 14th, which is today. So we're going to go ahead and hit Y here. And let's go ahead and read through this. And there's actually a bigger article we're going to read. So it says, who's a good friend that walks on four legs, fetches small game on land or in water, and loves your company more than anyone else in the world? We know someone who does. The Labrador, the Labrador Retriever, your faithful new hunting partner. Check out the announcement article for more details. So let's go ahead and jump into that. I will read through it all. Introducing the Labrador Retriever. So we've read these first two sentences, but just right below that second one, it says, waiting ever so patiently for the forever home. This lovable pup is arriving on PC and console on November 28th for $5.99. So this DLC is going to be a little bit more expensive, just a dollar extra from the previous DLC, which was $4.99. But honestly, that's not too big of a deal, especially if they've been working on it for so long and putting time and effort into it. I can see why they probably raised it. You can wishlist it now on Steam and Epic Game Store. Welcoming our newest family member, the second dog to be released for the Hunter Call of the Wild, the Labrador Retriever isn't just adorable, it's an intelligent, versatile companion that empowers you to hunt in an efficient new way. By being able to on command fetch any rabbit, hare, waterfowl, or upland bird on land or in water, your lab will tirelessly pick up harvest around you by order of priority, starting with the one you are aiming at. In other words, it allows you to continue searching for your next target without interruption. But perhaps more importantly, it's a loyal Paulite friend to share the joy of hunting with, a reliable partner who has your back. So that was definitely something I was curious about, was was it going to be able just to continue to go fetch the waterfowl or rabbits, whatever you were hunting? And it sounds like that's going to be what it does. You're not going to have to go into the command each time and actually tell it to go do it. So that is definitely going to be just a quality of life thing that I'm really excited about. Like the Bloodhound, you can grow your connection to your lab by petting it, giving it treats, or playing with it. In turn, as you get to know each other and hunt more often, its efficiency will improve over time. So it sounds like the more you pet it and play with it and everything and just use it, it's going to get better and better just as we go along. Naturally, even the best of hunters deserve a break now and then. When it's time to head back to the lodge for an evening of relaxing, you can count on your trusty sidekick to be there with you, happily, happily wagging its tail. I think it would actually be pretty cool if it like walked beside you. It would probably be just like the Bloodhound, where it has like a little bed that it lays on. But I think it would be actually really cool if it walked around with you. Of course, you'll be able to name your dog, choose its fur coat variation, and assign traits that match your hunting style. You can also add multiple dogs to your roster, making it easy to pick which one you want to hunt with. It is available as both male and female in seven unique fur coat variations. Black, yellow, chocolate, silver, charcoal, fox red, and champagne. So I'm probably going to go with the black, honestly, just because it is my favorite color in real life. But I could see myself using the charcoal and maybe even the silver. I'm very curious to see what, that, what that's going to look like in the game. Lastly, as we continue to refine dog behavior and plan for future dog utility improvements, we will be adjusting the Bloodhound DLC price to $5.99 early next year to match the Labrador Retriever. If you've thought about adding it to your hunting roster, now is the time to do it. So they're also going to be upping the price on the Bloodhound to $5.99 as well. Don't miss out on the fun. Join the Hunting Lodge for a special look, first look screen on Thursday the 16th of November from 5 p.m. CET to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We can't wait to show off our new little buddy, our little buddy in game. 
The Hunting Lodge is a usually every Tuesday at 6 p.m. CET or 12 p.m. Eastern, so make sure to keep an eye out on Twitch and YouTube if you're looking for all the juicy details. A howling good time. Engage with fans and get rewards to share with your community. We've teamed up with our friends at the Dare Drop once again to create an exciting camp campaign filled with fun challenges. More information about when the Dis Dare Drop event kicks off will be revealed soon. So yeah, that's pretty much everything here for the new Labrador Retriever. So let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts about it? Are you excited? Were you hoping for pointers instead? I know for me, I am very excited about this DLC and just can't wait to see how the Labrador is actually gonna work in game. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video. Not gonna have a second video today. This will be the only one, but I really do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.